My name is Daniel Brown. I'm a reporter and photographer for Business Insider. I was recently down in McAllen, Texas, uh, down the Rio Grande Valley to cover the, uh, the immigration crisis that's been going on. I reached out to the Border Patrol for that sector and tried to get a, a ride along. Finally, uh, they granted it. The Rio Grande Valley sector accounts for about 40% of the apprehensions in the United States. Uh, McAllen Station specifically is about 20% of the entire nation and we catch about 300 individuals a day just in this 50 mile span of border. They first took me on a, on a boat just drove up and down the Rio Grande. They're looking for crossers. Most people cross um, on rafts or boats. They're just kind of some deflated rafts on the side of the coast there. That's from people crossing over. We get off periodically and just kind of take little trails and walk around. A lot of times they would look for tracks and see some faint ones, be like, okay, we know someone passed through here, you know, a couple days ago or a day ago or something like that. Their main job is obviously to keep the border safe and to apprehend people who are crossing illegally. But also, as they told me, um, it's a humanitarian mission as well, you know, whether it's Mexicans or, or Americans or any other citizen of the world, you know, who's passing through, they want to try to keep those people safe. That's kind of one of the, the difficulties of the job, is you have to switch on and off from humanitarian mission to, is this guy trying to take your life? Border Patrol agents are killed, are shot at. They find dead bodies a lot. They, you know, experience, witness a lot of trauma. One agent who operates mostly on the boats, he said that, uh, you know, sometimes they'll find a raft or, or a little boat trying to get across and they'll be packed with, you know, 10 or more people or something like that. Sometimes they'll just throw a kid off uh, into the water just because they know that the agents will go for the kid right away to save them. We went up and down along the river there for a while. We ran a lot of sugar cane. It's very dense and they were talking about the difficulties of tracking people through that, how a lot of times people can just run into that and they'll just never find them even if they have dogs. You cordon off this field and try to surround it. Even, a, even when we have a canine uh, assist come in so that the dog can you know, follow and smell the people, he gets overloaded. So it's, it's, a, big, it's a big, big challenge, sugar cane. After that, we drove around for a little bit, a lot of stray dogs walking around, and the agents even said, you know, they use the dog sometimes to kind of decipher if someone's in the area. These dogs at times will give you a heads up because with experience, you start to see that they weren't barking before, but then they begin to bark, so they'll kind of give you a little heads up that somebody's in the area or something's in the area. The people that live along the borders, you know, I spoke to some of them who have people crossing through their, their property who've been there for years, and it happens almost daily, and they'll ruin their crops. And I met one family who's shot people who crossed into their property. Those landowners, when I went and visited them, they said to come back um, in a few hours, and I did. And that's when they told me, oh, you missed it. And then they drove me out in their little four-wheeler and showed me like the tracks. Those tracks were like, you know, an hour old when I took them. A lot of these people that are crossing over illegally or going to the ports of entry, they've had tough lives and they're, they're trying to escape violence. They're, they're trying to, you know, get a better life. And that's something I think that we should, we should realize and understand as a country. But at the same time, you know, people like the Border Patrol agents, their lives are at risk sometimes. People on all sides of the issue are, are going through tough things sometimes, and uh, I think we uh, I think we need to see all aspects of that.